Right, so it's been a little while since videos. Um, Apologise for that. There's just uh, a lot going on at the start of the year for me. So back to work was very busy. Um, sort of didn't have too much time from work. Uh, after that, Brisbane's uh, flooding. Um, so just last weekend, I had like over a metre of rain in three days, which is crazy. Uh, so with that comes a fair amount of clean up. Um, and then I've also had half my mower uh, off the sandblasters, uh, getting sandblasted, primed, uh, everything. I haven't actually had too many parts to actually work on to continue this build. So uh, in that time, I've also ordered some parts. Um, so parts from George, uh, SB, Fabrica SB Fabrication Parts, um, or mopartsoz.com.au. Uh, so his parts have arrived, um, so should be pretty good to crack on now. We've got uh, sandblaster parts, so these, I'll just run through what I've done. So these, these parts here, uh, I like to get sandblasted. So these are the bigger uh, items. Um, I just find it much quicker and easier just to send them to a sandblaster. I do have a small sandblasting cabinet, however, I find for the bigger parts, it's just far easier just to send them off. Uh, and get sandblasted. So I've done that. Uh, the remaining parts just down here in front of you, probably can't see. So the remaining parts uh, on my bench here, I'll actually clean up myself. So I'll either sandblast them myself or uh, a wire wheel. So I normally, normally I'll, uh, so my gears, so normally I'll just uh, wire wheel them, uh, put a bit of etch primer on them, and uh, generally I like to paint them black. Now I know you don't ever see them. Uh, I just think it looks a, a bit neater when you take the chain cover off. Um, it's just a personal thing I suppose, but I uh, like to do that. Clutch cane, uh, all those sort of things I do myself. They're just small enough for me to be able to do myself. Uh, so I haven't actually started doing any of that. Today I've got a bit of free time, so I'm probably gonna sit here and uh, clean up these and at least get a etch etch primer coat on them uh, just to s sort of prevent them from rusting um, but basically that's all that's sort of been happening in my world uh, I have actually I have actually uh, don't have any in my shed but I, I do actually have stickers now um, so just my logo just a small sticker uh, and I am gonna create a sticker board so down the back here uh, I'm gonna stick uh, some stickers on there from sticker swaps and that sort of stuff. So if you would like a sticker or if you would like to do a sticker swap, uh, hit me up. I'll uh, I'll definitely get one out to you. So uh, that's that's sort of coming. I'll do probably a future video on that. Um, it might make it a, a regular thing depending how many stickers stickers we get. So um, I'll just give you a bit of a walk around. So. Parts from uh, George, SB Fabrication and Parts. So uh, we've got a roller, uh, we've got a new clutch, and we've got various bits and pieces in there, uh, bearings, etc. that sort of stuff. Uh, over here, this mower here, I've just spent the past couple of days uh, building, so that's for a mate of mine. Um, that's powder coated, sort of a purpley color. It's quite nice, actually, I don't mind it. Um, it's the first mower I've put together that's been powder coated, and I'll tell you what, uh, it's nice, but then at the same time, the powder coating, because of the thickness of the powder coating, uh, does create a few problems putting bolts and stuff through uh, through the mower. But uh, nonetheless, that's 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 come up alright. There's a few bits and bobs still to go on uh, motor and chain covers, stuff like that. So up on the bench here, I've got a Series One Edger. This is dead set, been sitting there for probably yeah, God, I don't know, a year and a half, maybe even two years. I don't know. It's been a long, long time. A uh, friend of mine, Brett, I'm sure most of you probably know him, Brett, Brett Glancy. Uh, he's actually given me some uh, some paint for this. Um, and I'm on the lookout for a uh, Kirby engine. If anyone has one that uh, would suit a, a Series 1 Model 38, I'd, I'd love to hear it. Uh, up here, we've got a uh, new catcher there from Old Time Parts. Uh, that is, that's, I say, they come galvanised, they come galvanised, however, I like to uh, edge prime them, uh, and then I'll put my paint on there, uh, it's 
So probably going to part of the original sort of uh, olive green hammer tone colour. Uh, I just I just find it. I don't know. It's just the colour I like. I sort of like to keep the males original looking. Uh, it's just a personal preference, but. Uh, this one will be a bit different and we're going a bit crazy with uh, centrifugal force uh, clutch. Uh, might do the rear roller in black, sort of sick of them. Uh, I'll do it in shale grey, which is a colour bond colour. It's pretty close to the original colour that they came out in, but the, uh, the roller doesn't hold up real well. It sort of get chips and stuff and then it becomes like a, a black and white speckled roller opposed to uh, stay in a nice crisp clay. Yeah, anyway, so it might go black. Uh, that would probably fight that, and you probably won't notice any uh, chips or anything in the black. So, anyway, that's what's been happening. It was just a quick video, it was just of me talking. So, uh, videos are coming, guys. So, hang in there. Thanks for watching.